I literally want to cry. It's happy tears. I'm having a rough day and this just literally makes my heart. Ooh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm tripping. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, do y'all see my eyes? We're doing a review on the Danessa Myricks Light Work 4 palette. Now, I got a lot of things to say. This video is going to be long because we did swatches. We did three looks. And this is the final look that I did. But you guys, you need to watch this video because there were some very unexpected things I noticed with the shades. And I don't know, it may be something that sways you on whether or not you decide to pick up this palette. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. We do a lot of makeup. We do some fitness, love hair, nails, all things beauty. So if you like that, this is the channel for you. If you want to see how I got this look along with two others, as well as hear my opinions on the Danessa Myricks Lightwork 4 Eyeshadow Face Pigment Palette. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So let's talk about it. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know there was no way I was not going to pick up this palette. The Danessa Myricks Lightworks 4 Transcendence Palette. It's an illuminating eye and face pigments palette. I don't love the price, but listen, I got the one from last year. I overpaid for that one because I bought it secondhand and somebody was upcharging for it so this time i was like mm -mm, not about to catch me i ordered this from the Nessa myricks website and it took forever to get to me like i was so mad and i wanted to do a review when it first came out and i ordered it when it first came out and i'm last in line for this one so let's talk about the specs real quick this says that it is long wearing metallic finishes it's a multi-use palette curated with 14 color shifting chromatic shades and an array of transcending luxe finishes Ugh, so much words and i really just want to play it says immerse yourself in the world of multi chromes there are eight velvet chrome powders and then there are two of the chrome flake shades and then also two glass metallic ultra effect reflective shades and then also two water activated aqua chromes that are smudge proof and they are duochrome colors so this is what the packaging looks like i know you have seen this everywhere and then here on the back you have the details about the shades well as far as their names go it does tell you about the ingredients and all that but listen i don't care about <laughs> i don't care about none of that i just want to play in my palette so this little card inside tells you about each shade and what type of finish they are. So the velvet chromes are ultra chromatic color shifting velvety smooth powders and there are eight of those. And then there are the two aqua chromes and then two glass metallics and then two pressed, slow down, pressed chrome flakes. So the packaging, y'all, I love purple. So I was super excited to see that. I have opened this and look at this. So I'm trying to like put it back how it goes. So this is the packaging. You can see the purple, the duochrome iridescence in it. And then inside the packaging comes with this plastic that tells you the names and tells you what they are. So see if I can get this right by looking at it actually I'm gonna put it on top so all right this and this 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 these two and wait why would they not like put these together okay velvet chromes here and then glass metallic here and here like y'all could have switched that and just made it easy for us OCD people and then aqua chromes and then the chrome flakes so we're going to do swatches. I'm going to try to make this video fast. We are going to start off with the shade Trance. 
here, which is a velvet chrome. It says it is an electric sapphire to deep violet. Oh, this feels so, oh, this feels so soft. Look at that. Oh my God. Whew, calm down. How are we going to do this? How do I normally do my swatches? I can't even think right now. So that is it right. Y'all, that is so smooth. Oh my God. And you can see the shift on that. Next, we have Nirvana, which is a fiery copper to olive green. Mm, 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 mm absolutely beautiful next we have divinity which is a sparkling citrine and this one is a glass metallic this feels a little chunkier it's not as smooth as the other shades so it's more of like a powdery formula versus the others feel more like a velvet but look how gorgeous that is then we have sixth sense which is a pistachio green to cool taupe. That is so pretty. And you can see the shifts, which makes my heart flutter. Then next we have out of body, which is a jade green to peacock blue. There's that smooth formula again. So we'll do her here. How though? Y'all, these are so soft. Like, look at the shine on that. Oh, dear God. I didn't even swatch my other palette, I just realized. <sighs> Next, we're going to go to Intuition. Now, that I'm going to skip. I'm going to come back to those because those are the aqua ones. We're going to go to Zen, which is a beetle green to honey bronze. This is also one of the smooth ones. Mm. I just love when the colors show up how they're supposed to. That makes my heart so happy. Next we have, I can't guys, Angels, which is a sparkling diamond. This is that more powdery kind of, I'm going to put this one up here. Oh, definitely sparkling diamond. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the one that's a little more chunky. It's not as smooth as the others the metallic glass. Then next we have Trippy, which is a rose gold to pine green. Now I'm not gonna lie, this shade, I kinda think this is what I'm gonna wanna finish with, but I gotta do, I just stuck my finger in it. I gotta do all my swatches first, but that right there, yo. <laughs> oh, I wanna cry. I needed this today. Next is Escapism, which is an electric shamrock to Hunter Green. Like, look at the pigment still on my finger and I'm not even swatching these hard. The last one is Awakening. This is so gorgeous. It, look, it looks like a peacock. Intense teal to regal amethyst. I literally want to cry. It's happy tears. I'm having a rough day and this just literally makes my heart. Ooh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm tripping. We're all right. So now we're going to go into the chrome flakes. I'm trying to think if I have room to do this on this hand, on this arm. Um, the chrome flakes are heaven and paradise. Heaven is a glimmering mint to pastel chartreuse. I don't know what you're supposed to pick these up with. I think these have a slight overlay on them. So you're supposed to like try to get past that top layer first. But so that is what it looks like on my finger. And then we will put her, yeah, right here. So you can see it is a flakier formula, but you can also see I'm seeing a little bit of blue that I don't think is picking up on camera, but 
Yes, yeah, so this is very shiny. And then Paradise is a glimmering fuchsia to forest green. Like when you first touch it, it feels kind of sticky a little bit, if that makes sense. Oh, that's that one there. And then we'll put her right here. Ooh, that is so thick and just, yes, you see the shifts. So, so pretty. And then last but not least, we have our aquachromes, which are intuition and aura. Now these, you are supposed to put a tiny bit of water in the pan itself, and you can use them like liners or a smudge proof base. Intuition is a brilliant cyan to soft lilac. When I, I'm gonna show you guys this because it's, it doesn't work without water. So I'm swatching. This is completely dry, like nothing is happening. So you do have to wet these. Now, how do you wet them without using too much liquid? I'm going to attempt, let me grab a liner brush. Actually, I have her brushes. This also came with my order. This is the Chrome Flakes Chrome Amplifier. So this came with my order. And they honestly threw this in because the order took so long to get to me. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brushes. Did I count right? Yes, yeah, seven. And I'm gonna use one of her liner brushes here. And I'm gonna see if I can get just enough water nothing else all right i have a little bit of water on my plastic i'm going to dip my brush and this is just a little liner brush in the water and we are going to just put it right there to wet this so i do not like the idea of trying to put this like water directly in it because there's a fine line i've seen from other reviews so that is what that looks like um between using too much water and not enough you use too much water and it comes out way too liquidy but so that is what that looks like so that would be a gorgeous liner or you could even just put it on your whole lid I don't know. I mean, it's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It is very pretty, but I don't know if I would use this as a liner unless I was doing like something very dramatic. So that's intuition. And now I'm going to try to get some of Aura on my brush and hope I did not just mix these colors because it kind of looks like I did. So this is Aura. I just wiped my brush off and I thought all of the color was out, but I am not sure. I kind of want to just swatch it with my finger and see what happens. These would probably be the shades that I would <laughs> use the least in this palette and they are big pan. I wish these would have been smaller. Let's see if I can get some with my finger. Yeah, this is, I don't know. I don't understand what this formula is about. Um, you can see the shift in it though, so of course I like that, but overall I wish those would have been smaller pans because I don't see myself really using that a lot. That is all the shades right there as far as the main shades that I'm going to use. Those flakes make me a little nervous just because it is literally a flake, but you use the applicator with that and I think that'll help it come off. A little bit better I don't know if you're supposed to wet those I have no idea but y'all y'all can't tell me this is not gorgeous if you love multi chromes the formula especially of the velvet chromes it's almost like a cream to powder formula if that helps you get an idea of what it is let me wrap my head around this beautifulness and then we'll get into some eye looks I think I'm going to try to do three looks. We're going to see what happens because I don't want to do my standard like I kind of want this to be a little more like poppy and not using like oh we need a transition shade and all that stuff. We're just going to use these shades. So I don't know if these 
these brushes don't tell you like which you're supposed to use with what. So I really have no idea. I guess I should look it up. The only thing that the instructions say is to use the silicone applicators to lightly press over multi-chrome or metallic textures and glide over eye for maximum pigmentation. Best tools to use with velvet chromes and pressed chrome flakes. And then the paintbrush tip is for the aqua chrome. So they don't really tell you anything more than just use these to apply the shadows. We're gonna start with Zen. And I'm going to use just one of her applicators. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason for which one. I'm gonna start with Zen, which is this one down here. Oh, look how that picks it up. So we're just going to see. I already got something on my face. So we will need to put some powder. So I have a feeling these are going to be very hard to brush away if you have fallout. I like that the applicators help you give like a very precise line if you were trying to do like a cut crease or something like that. But so that is that shade on the eye. Is it even picking up? Interesting, I can see it very well, but I feel like it doesn't show You know what? I'm going to try my finger. Definitely more pigment with my finger. And all I have on my eyes right now is concealer and a little bit of powder. So I didn't do any special eye primer or anything like that. But that is what that shade looks like on its own. So staying with that same kind of color story. I th I'm gonna go in with a little bit. Yeah, and I have fallout on my face. And I don't think that's gonna come off. Oh, okay, we're fine. Um, I'm gonna go in on the other side of the applicator and I'm gonna go in with, let's try out of body, which is this shade up here. That is more of a green to blue. I like that the applicators help everything just lay on smoothly and it blends it well together, but I definitely feel like I'm getting maximum payoff with my finger as opposed to the applicator. So keep that in mind, but you can see that shade there. And I do think these go well together. So that is a plus. And then because we've kind of shifted into green blue, let's go ahead and go with trance, which is a blue purple. Uh Oh, hold on. I don't want it to get super messy. I'm probably going to take a regular brush and try to kind of diffuse this out a little bit so it's not such a harsh line. I'm going to try to get a tiny bit on my finger and just put that right on top. I don't normally put this many colors, but oh man, that is gorgeous. So it's almost like a seamless transition of each under, not an undertone, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like whatever it shifts to is kind of in the shade before it, if that makes sense. So it all just kind of flows. So I am going to try to blend this out. Let's see if we just use a regular brush. This is getting everywhere though. They're so pigmented, they are all over the place. And just see if we try to blend around the edges. Okay, that's helping to diffuse it a little bit. Let me try my brush because I wanna see if I can get a little more of this color just to help deepen as well. 
and it is picking it up so you can use your regular brushes if anyone was wondering I really don't even want to add any other colors with this we're just gonna leave this like this but that is what those shades look like there and you can see the fallout on my face so oh let's see how we're gonna get that off I'm trying to just brush lightly so I don't brush it into my skin which seems like it worked okay so powder first All right so now for the other eye I want to finish this look using trippy because I am gonna do a whole look by itself so I'm gonna start off on this one we're just gonna go from light to dark again to see what we can make it do yeah let's do this one up is that the lightest one I want to do divinity I feel like yeah that well let's go ahead and use one of those I'm gonna use divinity divinity I'm gonna try this bigger applicator here and see how that works it is picking some up oh I feel like I'm gonna have trouble getting this off my eye though because it almost feels a little glittery but look at that shine and I'm not even a big like yellow gold person but this is we're gonna take a smaller regular flat brush and see how this picks up it picks up like it needs to be wet I'm trying to just like press it into the skin first so that it doesn't fall all over my face and then move it these nails are good for nothing so you can see that shade is very very shimmery and glittery as opposed to how these are just super super smooth let's go into do we do six cents we did not let's see what sixth sense looks like so I'm gonna take the other side of my applicator I love the texture of these I'm trying to make it blend so I'm applying a little bit right on top of the glittery one I'm gonna go in with my finger again it's weird because it says this one has a little bit of blue but I don't really see it a lot I'm just gonna try to line to clean this up a little bit let's go with Nirvana wiped off my applicator Nirvana is the bronzy shade here does that blend too much into that shade maybe a tad Ooh. hmm I mean obviously when I would I would wear this I would wear like one multi-chrome shade I would not be piling on all the multi-chrome shades at one time but I do want to try to do this like this just to give you guys a full look at all of the shades I like that bronzy shade a lot actually that would be so pretty by itself even still with the uh, with the shifts in this I think these shades all go well together and wipe away oh, lots of fallout I was not expect it's like all on my face I wasn't expecting that I feel like the texture of these I felt like it would just get on my face and stick but nope this is what we have for both eyes so I hope you guys can see the shift. Oh, that is so pretty. 
absolutely, as I love to say, gorgeous. I'm not going to do my bottom lash line because that's going to be too hard to get off. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to do my final look and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. Kind of liking how those are looking now. <laughs> I'm going to give you all my thoughts on this palette. For the final look, I said that I wanted to go in with the shade Trippy. I love that this one has like a purple to well, a little bit of purple, pink, green. You can kind of see the green there and then it goes. So I just feel like that's different from the multi-chrome looks I've been doing lately. So that's why we're going with that one. I am going to go in with a bronzer just to kind of set up my base like I normally do. This is just what I like to do whenever I'm setting up any of my eyeshadow looks. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna take Trippy and just start that on the inner corner and work my way out. I feel like when you first apply it, the initial color you see is the pink. I'm not sure if that's what you guys are seeing on, oh, there it goes falling on my face. So I think maybe the trick is do not put a lot of this on your applicator because even though it looks like it's stuck to it, it's not, and it's just gonna fall in your face. But that shade right there is pretty, I'm not really sure which of the shades are going to pair best with it. I wanted to try to use as many shades as possible for you guys to see but I also want it to be a very cohesive look. Oh, that is oh, stunning. And I want this on as much of my lid <laughs> as I can get. I am gonna go in with my finger and just really try to build that up. I'm getting a lot of pink. Y'all tell me, I think it looks the same on camera. And then when you turn, you can see the shifts. So I'm gonna go in with Awakening down here. No, we did not use that one. Ooh. Oh, yes. I don't know if these go together or not, but I do not care. I'm just kind of blending back and forth to get those colors to blend together. I think these two together are a very unexpected match. And I like that the applicators can give you a very detailed line. Y'all think that goes together? I think it does. I think it does. I think it does. So I'm just going to do some more blending, try to make sure I don't have any pieces that are not stuck to the skin so they don't get all over my face. And then I'm going to wipe away my powder. Well, let's go ahead and do that right now because I think I'm done. Probably not, but so I'm just going to keep using the same applicator and I'm going to go in with awakening on the bottom lash line and try to not make a mess of my eyes. The shade's different because I see a lot of teal in the pan that I'm not seeing. I'm gonna try one of the flatter brushes and see if I can do a little better with the application. I really want to try that diamond shade. Might have to do that for an inner corner highlight. I don't know why I feel like I need to fan it. Like I feel like this is applying like it's wet and I know it's not, but it feels like it is. I do not know what brush. Do we want to do a chrome flake? Get my tiny pencil brush and try to get diamonds. I mean angels. Angels in the inner corner. Definitely see that. Do 
Do we want to try a chrome flake? I'm going to put some paper towel under my eye because I am not playing. So you can see it definitely amped it up a little bit, gave it a little more sparkle. It just makes it a little more chunky, which isn't bad, but I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like there's a time and a place and it's kind of taken away from awakening. So I don't know, maybe that needs to be a shade done on its own. So we're going to stop there because I don't want to mess up this look and I'm starting to see more flakes. So we are good. I'm going to just blend around the edge a little bit to soften that out. And then I'm going to put my lashes on. And then we are going to finish up with my final thoughts and let you see the completed look. All right. So lashes are on. Kind of tried to cooperate. So always feel like we're ending a, on a good note when that happens. This is the final look. I have to say, I have to take some pictures and see. The look is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But... I guess I'm just expecting to see pigmentation like this on my eyeballs. And I'm not quite sure it's giving that. I don't know. Y'all come in and tell me what you think. Don't I love the shades. Palette definitely ain't going back. Not even close, but I don't know. Maybe if I put a different base with it, it'll make it pop more. I don't know. I still think it's very, very pretty, very shiny, very glam, very luxe. I like the palette. I love the palette. I love the shades. I love the idea. I don't love the fallout. And I just, I don't know because I didn't use the other palette. Maybe I didn't know what to expect. Maybe that's normal. But yeah, definitely, I was not expecting that. So I'm probably going to play with these aqua liners off camera because I just feel like there's going to be a learning curve with that and I don't want to mess up my look. Or have this video be too long but I love how this turned out y'all let me know what you think in the comments are y'all picking this up do you think it's worth the 120 what did I say 125 I think did I even say I don't think I did um yeah let me know if y'all think it is worth the price because she is not cheap at all $125 Sephora sale is coming wait to get your discount I thought this was going to sell out fast, but it hasn't. So that is it. That is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you love the look. Can't wait to talk to you in the comments below. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so now you need an intro. It's